Hello, everybody. Welcome to the MIT Scale Global Network Poster Briefing uh, for uh, next January 2019. We are going to introduce you how to um, be prepared for the uh, research expo next January. So let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Maria Jesus Saenz. I am the incoming executive director of the um, Blended Master Program here at MIT, and I'm really looking forward to meeting all of you in January. Hi, everyone. I'm Tuba Efendi Gil. Uh, I'm a research scientist at CTL as well, and we are uh, very excited to have you uh, here in January as well. And uh, today, uh, you, you all know that January will be a very crowded and busy period for all of us. So um, at the same time, you will have the chance to show your initial results about your projects uh, in January at Research Expo. So we'll give some details about uh, that Research Expo um, location and uh, schedule and um, some points for presentation, uh, the posters. Here today's agenda is um, including Research Expo location, setup and floor plans and schedule. And then Maria will uh, tell about poster layout and uh, will give some examples. And also we'll wrap, uh, wrap up some uh, important points to keep in mind. So as you all know, Research Expo is a special event hosted by MIT CTL. And uh, there will be almost 200 students coming all across scale centers. And the students will showcase their uh, company-sponsored projects to supply chain professionals. So this research expo uh, would be the interest of both supply chain executives and recruiting professionals. And here you see that there is a small map of Cambridge, including MIT buildings. Uh, E40 is the one that we are living uh, as CTL people. And E14 uh, is the Media Lab building that um, that Research Expo will be held on top floor of that building. So as a floor plan, it will be on sixth floor and we'll use the rooms named as Skyline Room, Winter Garden, and Multipurpose Room. Uh, it is dotted with the red line, as you see. And within that red line area, uh, on this day, on Research Expo Day, there will be some buffet tables uh, serving food, beverages, and uh, some refreshments. And in the middle, you can see that e-poster area uh, to let you present your works. So for uh, scheduling, it is not certain yet. Uh, it may change, but basically we'll split the students uh, into two groups named as A and B, and uh, totally those groups will have one hour presentation time. In the first session, it will be a 30 minutes presentation, and the groups will switch uh, uh, to another one, and there will be a guest speaker, and during that event, uh, there will be a voting process which will close uh, around 7.30 p.m., and at the end, there will, be, there will be an announcement on voting results um, for last 15 minutes. Just this voting process is for the awards of the poster. So then yeah. be really prepared uh, for, uh, I mean, sell your poster in that voting session. Yeah, thank you, Maria. And from now on, Maria will tell about poster layouts and uh, will uh, explain about some examples for some tricks. Yeah, I think that it's important to highlight that you are going to be exposed during this session in front of different supply chain professionals, and especially uh, your network, your scan network, students coming from all over the world. So it's important that you show the uh, your work, the value that you are uh, going to um, I mean, submit to your company, to the sponsor company. So this poster is like uh, your business card. Uh, in order to detect your potential, right? So it is important that you work in advance, both from the technical point of view and also just to dress this technical work within this poster session, right? So this is why we want you to have the same kind of format for all the students within the scale and network, just to show the same similar 
a kind of uh, element, while of course uh, all, all of you will customize all this content to your particular area, to your particular project, to, to your particular context, right? So um, in this uh, in this uh, format, you will see different elements here. For example, the title. You can uh, include a title that will be different than the title of your project, just for uh, focusing on the particular key elements. Uh, also, the students' names, who is your advisor, and if you can, because maybe you cannot do it, but if you can, please include the company that is sponsoring your project, right? Here you will have, you will show yourself, right? So uh, actually here you will have your names and your the pictures of the project team members. Hmm? So in terms of content, um, uh, you will have, sorry, you will have um, different elements. So the format is important, right? So please keep the format uh, constant in all your projects. So starting with the motivation, what is going on? How did you get um, in that way? Um, so the, you already presented as deliverable. In most of the cases, you have already submitted uh, your motivation and your scope of your project. So this is something that you already have, I mean, uh, done. Key questions. So go to go well, directly to the point. The main research questions. What is the simplest expression of your aim within this project? Relevant literature. Keep the same format for all the different. Uh, I mean, sources that you will include here. You don't need to include all of them. Only the most uh, the most relevant ones. Huh? Uh, central graphic is the the focal point. So then usually you will use here some picture nice picture that will catch the attention with different colors and especially that a picture that will summarize the main purpose of your uh, project you will summarize the problem so um uh yes to to highlight what is the the main main uh, um i mean elements of your problem the methodology here typically some students we will see in a minute some students will use some kind of uh, um, I mean, a diagram with different elements, with some arrows, just yes, to show the progression, the specter progression of your methodology. How you, um, how you are going to follow through the different steps of your methodology. Initial results, this is important, right? Because then uh, in January, you will show in front of all your mates, in front of all your professionals, um, the professional that will, I mean, see your work, then you will show how far you have progressed with your uh, project, with your work, right? So then you will need to synthesize what are the initial results that you have obtained through your uh, effort. And expected contribution looking to, I mean, to the future. So what were the um, expected value that you bring to, to deliver to the particular company and also to the particular uh, audience? Because maybe some of the results you will generalize in order to be able to make uh, applicable recommendations to the industry or maybe to some, some, some group of, of companies, right? So this is the format that you need to, to, to follow. So please be attached to, to that. Uh, so we will see now some examples, um, some ideas that maybe you, you would like to apply to your particular context of your project. So this is one example. So for example, the title is quite short, but maybe it's too short. So the question here is, is this title uh, describing the main main uh, I mean aim of your project here then you will see you will show a quite a kind of a figure a kind of picture describing but maybe this is so simplistic I don't know in terms of using um, I mean some some um, and graphs make sure that you include the label of all the two X's here so here for example is not clear enough or what I mean, what are the units of these different blue and red bars? Hmm? So, what is the message that you want to show here? And especially, how your readers will interpret that message? Will it be easy to interpret or not? Hmm? Um, other examples that we will see here. Um, this is very concise title, so five words, no more. This is perfect, describing exactly what you want to describe. So, a catchy picture. Uh, showing and uh, related with the main aim of your project. So here, um, um, a map describing the scope uh, that the project in, uh, aims 
right? But for example, that will include maybe here some some short uh, labeling about what are the different colors means. Um, here they are showing some quantitative results uh, about the initial contributions um, in, in, in January. Mm -hmm. Oh, for example, here I miss something about, for example, what, what are the different units of the different uh, elements in this particular graph? Mm -hmm. Mm, more examples, for example, this example is really nice. It's very quite balanced in terms of colors, in terms of content. Uh, maybe the title is too long. So then, I mean, please be careful with that because it's, it's, you need to catch the attention in a short period of time. So the longer the title, the most difficult will be to catch the, this, this attention. Mm -hmm. um, they have a good combination between these two figures. So in here, the methodology it shows that they know what they are doing or what they are going to do in the future, so that they control the, 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 the main work behind the project. Mm -hmm. um, a short key question directly to the point, structure test in order to highlight the different parts. So I particularly like this, this posture. Mm -hmm. More examples here. Please, I mean, if you would like yeah. to highlight yeah, something, let me sure. know. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, this is a nice example with very good balance of colors, a catchy uh, a figure that is showing the different elements of their particular project, showing here a short title, uh, here highlighting where and, and especially, I mean, what and where is the problem they are gonna, they are gonna deal with in, in terms of motivation and the background. Hmm? Uh, I will advise maybe to change the letter size in order to be more uh, homogeneous uh, along of all the different elements of the project. And so here with different diagrams, they are showing the different elements of the project. I, I particularly like it. More, more examples, again, um, nice uh, uh, pictures showing the main, main goals with different figures highlighting. The, the different elements and here some results or for example here again right different good balance between the different diagrams they are concise they are simple but very easy to understand and including almost everything that they want to highlight hmm? so here we are um, in this uh, particular project um, we are increasing the complexity of the posture so then please pay attention to this balance. So sometimes you want to include everything and you cannot include everything here. Why? Because then you will not be able to, to explain the, the, the main elements to your audience. Imagine the setup. So you are going to be in front of different uh, I mean, professionals who are going to jump from one poster to the other in front of a TV, right? So in a short period of time, you need to highlight what you want to highlight. So maybe here, uh, maybe in some parts, there is a lot of content. For example, here on the right-hand side, you see a lot of different figures. It's not in, in one shot, you cannot uh, describe what, what, what it is. So it needs additional explanation, right? Um, including all these two figures. Of course, you decide, and, and it's true that, I mean, you want to show your progress, but at the same time, you want to highlight the most important part. Or for example, here, it's great that the students uh, decided to use a map because it's a visual way of showing, uh, in this case, uh, the balance between supply and demand. But why not, instead of using different figures, maybe to use different colors, going to more kind of soft colors to more dark colors in order to show the different uh, grades uh, in these different variables, right? So yeah, it depends the message you want to send but make sure that you are sending this message in, a, in the most uh, efficient way. Huh? Or for example, another uh, case that this is a very long title here, uh, supply chain is repeated twice. You don't need to use supply chain term because we are within uh, master supply chain management, right? So you don't, you don't feel obligated to use supply chain term um here a lot of content is very difficult to read this all these elements right almost impossible i would say right a lot of details so yeah. you need to keep balance between direct messages that will be audio explanatory 
and also include the, the, the effort that you have been doing through all these different months. So again, they are using uh, one, two, three, four, five different diagrams. So it's difficult to catch the attention without a focal point, without um, a picture. It's, it's, it's really difficult. And uh, I want to add something, Maria. As yeah. you emphasized before, you cannot put everything uh, in, in, in the presentation. You have to prioritize what you would like to show to the audience. For example, for this slide, it is very crowded. Uh, there are many words that no one can catch the real idea. So um, if it is possible to uh, please use some catchy uh, maps, graphs, or pictures, uh, and please explain your ideas with with the uh, proper wording this is too much to to uh, understand the real idea so um yeah i i, I just want to add this thing yeah uh, we understand that you want to communicate everything that you have been doing because maybe you are really excited and you have really progress along your project with the company this is great but then the risk of including all this kind of content is that you are not communicating anything Right, so be careful with this balance. It's important, yeah. and our advice will be to go to your advisor to ask uh, uh, their feedback. Go to your mates, maybe to ask them. Okay, what do you think? I mean, can you follow the main uh, flow of the of the poster? Can you and really understand in a short period of time where are the main highlights? Right, so yeah, be careful with that. Hmm. Another example here. So then again, a lot of content here with all these different diagrams. Uh, a lot of, I mean, test um, here. For example, this yellow part is not easy to read. So a lot of figures and lot graphs. So it's good that you are doing quantitative analysis and then you are showing showing your quantitative uh, analysis. But prioritize. Prioritize the most important message you want to highlight here, right? And again, the same with the title, a very long title. Yeah, yeah and um, and this, in this case, is nice in terms of balance, so then nice in terms of figures, and nice in terms of uh, the, the, uh, the, the weight of test uh, within the, all these different sections. But instead of using a picture, they have set, decided to use a um, formula here. I think you decide, of course, but I think it is better to catch the attention with a picture that will be auto-explanatory. And then uh, the, 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 really the, 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 the formula is not so important because then here you have included some results out of the formulation, right? So it's most important the results than the formula. Huh? And one more thing I would like to yeah. remind your students. Uh, for the for the section names, please um, keep the original ones, like background, motivation, problem. You may want to change, like here, uh, the titles, the subtitles, actually, according to your thesis, like full, full sur surcharge definition. But it is it doesn't uh, make sense to the audience. Okay, because you are using background motivation and then directly to full definition. No need to do that. Please keep your subtitles as in their original format that we are sending you in the layouts and then um, make your explanation, use, use your pictures or graphs, whatever. And the formula uh, is not the element that we would like to see in your uh, sections. Please be careful about that. Yeah, if you want to highlight some particular term, maybe you can do it within your text, right? But keep the sections because it will be easier for the audience to follow the same kind of a structure in all of you, right? Remember that you need to pitch to solve your project in a short, very short period of time. So then the easier, the better. Hmm? Okay, some uh, key points to keep in mind. Uh, uh, overall, clean, simple, very visual, uh, including chart, figures, photos, but, but especially thinking about the message you want to highlight uh, and, and to keep the balance between the content and these kind of messages, prioritizing the most relevant ones. Uh? And one more thing I want to add here. And we, we cannot allow you to use um, YouTube videos or any sounding or, um, you know, any animation, any effects 
on uh, in your presentations please be careful be, be careful about that you can use some animations they they can move but uh, it is not allowed to use any sound or any videos actually you will receive by email uh, all the instructions more detailed instructions from the different responsibles uh, academic administrations and, and then you will see all the different details that you need to follow it's not difficult but you need to follow the different instructions just to to be efficient uh, because we have a lot of students and we have a lot of posters to organize to um, to a schedule so yeah it's, it's important that uh, that you follow the instructions just also for 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 making sure that you will send the right message to your audience yeah in terms of title as we have already mentioned clear title impressive highlighting what you want to highlight and uh, please don't use uh, buzzwords that maybe are very fancy, but but they are not really representing what you are doing. Uh, be careful also with that. So the 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 content, the technical meaning is is, is definitely is very very important. Um, we will prefer five words or even fewer. Um, ideally, yes, to to catch the attention in a short in a short very short sentence. For example, here you have four different very good examples um, from past years that they are using, yeah, in this case, four uh, words, e-commerce call, chain fulfillment. So there is some kind of action here in the title, fulfillment, motorcycles for last mile delivery, uh, inventory efficiency versus risk mitigation. So clearly they are using this trade-off between inventory and risks reduction of total life cycle time so they are emphasizing the reduction part right while they don't use supply chain terms as we already mentioned so it's clear they are direct uh, to the point where they want to show huh? um uh, more points so the central picture that is in the in the focal point of the poster again keep it simple keep it clean high quality uh, picture easy to understand right compelling and, and it's interesting that this very catchy uh? no we will not recommend to use charts graphs equation uh? or, or a lot of words in the in the picture so the idea is just to catch the the attention uh, graphs use large fonts and, uh, and and be balanced in terms of the text that you will include in the graphs but also make sure that you label uh, both access in the right way, in a proper way, in a clear way. Huh? Um, make sure that you be uh, that you are attached to the explicit sections uh, that we are we have included in the format of the poster. Um, yeah, and and do not add any additional sections or change the dimensions. It's important that you 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 are attached to the sections and to customize. The different elements inside of each section. Yeah, some checklists you can, I mean, you can uh, later check. So we have some recommendations about the center picture. So is it, it is uh, captivating enough? Uh, is easy to understand? Uh, the quality clear? Is 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 not fussy? The title short, five or, or, or a fewer words. Uh, easy to understand, especially connected with the technical point, focal point of your project, and something that will be interesting for the audience, for the reader. Charts and graphs, again, easy to understand. Make sure that you include the labels and the units, write in the labels, um, and be careful with the font size. Text on the poster, um, be careful how you balance the different sizes. It was not nice to include big sizes in one size, in one section, sorry, and a smaller in the other. Right, because it is not showing a good balance, a good harmony uh, along the different elements. Uh, be, be careful also with the, with the number of words, not too busy, uh, but not too light. Uh, uh, check your gra grammar, it's very important. We are not going to do it. So then you need to make sure that this perfectly in that sense. Um, overall, how interesting is the poster? You can talk with your mates in order to, to check again and uh, make sure that you include relevant uh, elements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so very quickly, um, December the 3rd is uh, like a first sub-deliverable because you need to submit some information about your poster, all these elements, so the title, 
only the title, uh, but uh, remember that you don't need to include the same title on the project. You need to include top three choices for the category because we um, organize all the different postures uh, along these categories uh, and these different elements. So make sure that you select the most appropriate ones. So this is the list uh, here. You can come back to the PowerPoint later, or please feel free to, to ask whatever kind of question with your advisor in terms of this classification. Uh, the third point is to identify four keywords to be associated with your poster, with your project, uh, among all these different choices. Why? Because again, we have uh, we have a, um, a repository of different documents, of different projects. So yes, for future readers, we need to make sure that uh, that the classification is uh, is uh, according to the main topics of your project. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fourth point: two, three sentences uh, for the executive summary describing your project. Again, this is for December the third. All these four elements in December the third. And then December the 14th, you need to upload your posture all with all this content. And of course, all these elements that are common to the previous ones. I mean, the, all these elements should be according to the posture you are going to include, right? So don't, for example, don't change the title because then the two titles should be the same. Huh? We have a question here. Sorry, let me see if we are able. Can we submit an update in uh, January? Um, imagine that we are having, um, I mean, um, dozens of posters, right? So then, of course, then we are aware that um, that maybe you will, uh, I mean, uh, would like to change some minor elements, but the ideal is that you will not change anything, right? So make sure that you progress as much as you can uh, till December the 14th. Right, so this is a good challenge for you. Uh, to, I mean, to, to make sure that you progress till this deadline, this milestone, and uh, yeah, because otherwise it will be uh, it will be um, I mean difficult and complicated. Yeah, uh, I, I want to and talk with your advisor, yeah. right? And I want to add something that especially be careful about your final poster title because for marketing purposes we are using this poster titles in our flyers in our advertisement to keep the attraction of supply chain professionals so it should be matched together okay please be careful about your final poster title you can change some small points some small mistakes that doesn't matter you can ask your advisor but we prefer to keep the original poster title and many things we are gonna stop here